Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to apply for WES online. As you know, WES is a requirement if you want to apply for a permanent residency here in Canada. I have here my result. I haven't opened it. We will open this later. The first half of this video is all about WES everything you need to know and the timeline of our request and the second part is a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it online i'm so sorry if i have shortness of breath i am sick I'm still recovering but i have to do this video because this is a very important topic and it's way overdue like six months overdue so before we continue please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell for more videos like this What is WES? WES stands for World Education Services. It's an educational credential assessment or what we call ECA. They will evaluate your level of education from your home country. In my case, it's from the Philippines and they will compare it to the level of education here in Canada and United States. There is another type of ECA which is ICAS but we chose WES because according to reviews, WES release results faster than ICAS. Their timeline is seven business days for releasing of your evaluation. That is after they received the complete documents, not after you paid on the website. Take note of that. The cost is 240 Canadian dollars plus applicable taxes. Question, what if you're still in your home country and you want to request for WES? Can you do that? Definitely. I should have done that because the validity of this is five years and that is a long time. But since we are already here in Canada, we just asked someone to process this for us. For me, it's a family friend. Hi Shira, shout out to you. Thank you very much for doing this. And for Oji, his dad processed his WES. The first thing that you have to do is to go to the WES website, request for evaluation, and pay your fees. Later, I will show you on how to do all of this. After paying the fees, they will send you a form. You need to fill this out, sign it, and send it to your representative along with a copy of your valid IDs and authorization letter. Here is my authorization letter. You can pause it and copy this if you want. Your representative will then submit this to your school where you graduated. There will be a charge for this and it varies per school. For me, I paid $150 for the school fee and $240 for notarization fee. I also signed some documents from the school. Again, this might not be the same for you. This is based on my personal experience only. You might pay more than this or less than this depending on your school. Once your school released your transcript, have them include the form from WES in the envelope and let them sign the flap before they seal it. The signature again must be from the authorized person. Then you can either send it to your address here or directly to WES. After less than a week, we received the result and this was mailed to us. Here's a tip. I recommend you to ship it directly to WES because that's what I did. But for Oji, when he requested for that, we thought that we need to ship it to our address here. So once we received it, we can't do anything with it. We cannot open it. It should remain sealed. So we ship it to West again, and that costs 60 to $70, which is 2,800 pesos. You can avoid that if you'll just send it directly to us. Another tip is I used LBC and I paid 1606 for the delivery fee. But for Oji, he used DHL because we thought DHL is the only delivery service that caters to Canada. He paid way more than I did. He paid 3404 for just one envelope. So if I were you, I will use LBC for the delivery fee so that you can save some money. We don't want you to make the same mistakes that we did. Nobody told us about this and that's why I'm sharing this with you. Take note from first year to fourth year, I did not switch schools. So I only requested for one transcript from one school. 
for OIG, he transferred in the middle of college. I think third year he transferred to another school. So he was asked by Wes to request for transcripts from both schools. So if you went to many schools, then you have to request for a transcript from all of them. So that is everything. It's so easy actually. It just depends on your school on how long they will process it. If Wes received it, you will receive the result in less than a week. So now let's go to the website and let me show you the step by step on how to do this. So go to Google or Safari, whichever works for you, and search for www west.org okay and here this is their home page it's automatically routed to united states just change it to canada and then and then get an evaluation here on the top right corner Okay, where will you use your evaluation? We're gonna use it here in Canada. And here, West Standard Application, ECA Application for IRCC, or ECA Application for Agri-Food Pilot. So uh, we chose this one for immigration purposes. So start application. Then here you have to provide your email address. If you already have an account, just log in here. Let's pretend that we don't have an account. They will be sending a code, six digit verification code on your email address. So make sure you put here your um, active email. Hit next. Go to your email address and here it is. Just copy that. Go back, paste, submit code. Okay, verification complete, hit continue. Now you have to put here your given name. So let's just put loose. This is not my last name, I'm just making it up. Then date of birth, let's say January. What date is it today? 20, what year do you want? Let's go with my name, my name. Let's say 1995. Ah much older than this anyway do you have a west reference number no then confirm your email then you have to create your password so we have to follow these requirements one uppercase one lowercase and one special character do not include spaces re-enter your password select a security question mm, let's see favorite color let's say white <coughs> And if you want to subscribe to West, then go ahead and tick this one, but I don't want to. So there you go. Then hit create an account. Oh, invalid password. Why? Oh, I don't have a number. Okay, okay. Got it. Okay, I hope this will go through. Create account. And you'll be routed to this page. So your information, gender, woman so i'm already here in canada and then hit on next what credentials have you earned ircc ask applicants to submit only their highest completed credential so for me i did not finish doctorate i don't have a master's degree from the philippines i only have bachelor's degree so here are the required documents let's um, hover your mouse here then click it it will open to a different window and here okay equivalency country let's choose canada apply for ircc let's say yes country or territory of education let's go ahead and choose philippines status of your education completed type of education name of institution for example let's see let's use feu for example for eastern let's see business let's put here business bachelor in business management for example view requirements 
and here you go full bachelor in business far eastern i did not graduate from far eastern this is just an example okay so here here's the guide the requirement checklist academic transcript okay this is the one that you will be requesting so you go to the school and send that to us this is what i told you earlier um, please ask them to send your documents directly to us in a sealed envelope that is signed or stamped across the back flap so let's start the application just continue the application if you don't want to continue you can just hit this save and exit then you will be routed here again we need to do this add credential hit this one and then country philippines type of education higher education name of institution far eastern far eastern university okay bachelor in business management your given name lose your last name field of study business and then year awarded when did you graduate for example i graduated in 2014 so from 2010 to 2014 okay so here you go this is your request so after you put that in you will see that here just hit on next please enter the recipients you would like quest to send your evaluation report to number one is you and then you have to add your address how would you like us to send your report once complete do you want the standard or the next day i we just chose the standard delivery which is 11 dollars so save you just hit next here you go you have to pay for 240 dollars so this is the price 240 hit next So we use this address because this is by courier. This one is for snail mail. So we chose this address. Okay, take note of that. They have two different address. Hit next. Okay, now you have to review your application and make sure all of the information is correct. Okay. Okay, so it's now 251 because of the delivery fee, standard delivery fee, but this is still without taxes. So applicant acknowledgement, uh, you authorize West, of course, let's check that. Check all the boxes, read them, of course, first. Hit next, please confirm your name and date of birth, okay? See. This is just an example. So now we're on to the payment. Standard delivery fee, 11 plus 240 plus the tax. Oh, $32 for the tax. So the total is now 283, almost $300 per person. So select your payment method and then submit. I believe after this, they will send a code to you to verify if you're really making this payment. And that's it. Once you process the payment, they will send you the form on your email address. And that form is the one that you will submit to your school. Now it is time to open the result. Let's see. Okay, okay so my Canadian equivalency is bachelor's degree three years i finished a four-year degree in the philippines but here it's only equivalent to three years but it's okay i kind of expected that and at least they still see that as a bachelor's degree not a diploma or a certificate so i hope that uh, this was helpful you can just go back to this video once you're ready to apply and just follow the step-by-step -step guide that i did earlier you can do this i mean no need for any agency or any consultant to assist you in this you can definitely do this on your own so thank you again for watching this video if you like this please give this a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel till next time bye